first look at the McLaren 720S and it looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks lightning fast standing still. It is lightning fast going in a straight line or around a racetrack. So instead of wasting your time with four minutes of us driving around in Sydney traffic at 60 k's an hour and crawling over speed humps, we thought we'd tell you five things we love about the 720S and five things we don't love. Number one on the list of things that we love would have to be the styling. Take a look at this thing. There'd be Italian designers rolling in their graves that an English company could design a supercar that looks this good standing still. There's absolutely no doubt that the McLaren is a style icon and it looks absolutely unreal. Number two on the list of things we love, engine and gearbox. Now, why would we say that? 537 kilowatts and 770 newton meters of torque. It's absolutely epic and this engine while it's easy to drive around town at low speed, is an absolute monster that wants to be let off the leash as well. The gearbox, just as good. It's snappy at full noise, but it's docile around town. And while this 720S is lightning fast, it's really easy to drive slow as well. Number three, the exhaust note. And well, that speaks for itself. Have a listen to this. <laughs> Number four, the numbers. Have a look at these figures. If that's not making your eyes water, there's a manufacturer's recommended retail price of just over $515,000. And as tested here, drive away, $697,941.50. Number five, raw carbon fibre. To be honest, I'd have the whole 720S if I could have it in raw carbon fibre. Why? Because it looks so cool. It looks like a race car, it looks tough, and the way the McLaren engineers have finished it, it's just beautifully, beautifully done. It doesn't look like it's half finished. And in anyone's language, raw carbon fibre is cool. Let's not argue about that. Which brings us to the first thing that we don't like about the McLaren 720S. And that's, funnily enough, the raw carbon fibre. Why? Well, McLaren have found a way of charging you more for less. What do I mean by that? Well, if you order the raw carbon fibre, they don't have to paint it, but it costs more because it's an option, which means they're doing less work and charging you more. Yeah, that's right. So it charges more to have less. You know what, though? It looks so damn good, I'd be ticking that option box regardless of what it cost. Number two of things we don't like, the nose lift kit. Well, it's handy, it helps you get in and out of driveways and over speed humps, but guys, if it doesn't automatically lower, if you're driving around town at 30 or 40 kilometers an hour, you need to drop it yourself because it looks ridiculous when you leave it up. Number three, the name. Why do we say the name 720S? Well, it should be called something like Thunder or Lightning or Excalibur or Murder or Death or Mayhem. It should be called the McLaren Mayhem because this thing is absolutely crazy. Number four, the attention. Let's face it, everyone's gonna be your best mate if you own a McLaren 720S. Everywhere you stop, someone's gonna to wanna to talk to you. You'll have people taking photos, people shooting videos, kids asking if they can sit in it. Everyone is gonna to wanna to talk to you about it. You cannot go anywhere incognito. So if you're a shrinking violet, don't buy the 720S. Number five, and it's not really the McLaren's fault, I grant you, but Australian speed limits. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, even 110, none of them are anywhere near the, well, let's say 300 we'd like to see this thing get to if we could find a road to do it on. So with speed limits like that, you're never really gonna be able to test the 720's potential unless you take it off the road and put it on a racetrack. So there you have it, five things we love, five things we don't love about the McLaren 720S. It's as quick as you could ever want a supercar to be. And I'm gonna stop talking and just let you look at it for a few seconds before we shut the video down.